Kathy Button Bell. Emerson is celebrating its 125th anniversary, and you're getting the word out through Hank Green. Why don't you explain what's going on? Well, Hank Green, um, who is a YouTube superstar, um, has figured out the voice of science for a whole new generation of millennials, Generation Z, and science-minded friends. So he, he runs a lot of educational videos, um, hundreds of them actually, that are extremely well watched. Why don't you explain Hank Green's connection to Emerson and science and why this STEM campaign is so important to you? You know, we've been thinking that um, science and STEM actually has a little bit of an image problem, and we have come out way behind it and said we think uh, we need to help create a whole new generation of engineers for companies like Emerson and our future customers as well, who have to appreciate the importance of science, of engineering, and of uh, the kind of things Emerson can do for their businesses someday. And Emerson, excuse me, does a lot for energy efficiency. This is a big topic with millennials. Why don't you talk about some of the areas that you touch because people aren't always aware of where Emerson is. That's true. We're very industrial, large industrial company, $25 billion. And we're very active in the data center space. We're good at actually helping um, not create as much heat in a data center so you don't have to reduce as much. We're very big in um, climate technologies, which is air conditioning, refrigeration for grocery stores, for transocean shipping. And we are ex we're the most um, energy efficient approach to that. All right, so if you're energy efficient, how do lower oil prices affect Emerson? What's the connection? Well, the, on the positive side, um, the best thing we do is we offer automation for the major oil companies that can actually help save them money uh, with much higher um, technology automation. All right, so 10 years now or 125 years from now, where will Emerson be? Well, we've, uh, we've transformed a great deal over the last 125 years, starting with motors and fans, migrated through gun turrets in World War II, and now we do data centers, oil refineries. In 25, 125 years, I hope we're running um, a data center on the moon. So Sounds like a lot of fun. Okay. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching the street.